Hey, Wild Lake Northern, I'm Mr. Carlson. And I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> You're what? Oh, I'm sorry. I miss the slow class. That sounds better. And we're here to tell you about the options you have to take social studies classes here at Wald Lake Northern. What's up first, Ms. Lopez? Well, let's take a look here. Let's start with 10th grade options. We have uh, two, two options for you. You can either go into uh, 20th century U.S. history, which is uh, available for all 10th grade students, or if you want to uh, try out an AP class, we also have um, AP U.S. history available made. Uh, for all 10th grade students. I like that option because you can actually earn college credit by taking AP US History. What a kind of deal is that? That's really great. I would I would definitely check it out, absolutely. All right, what else we got going on for 11th, for 10th grade? Well, let's, uh, let's look. There's also some options that are available to you come 10th grade um, that weren't available to you as freshmen, so let's check these out. We have Big History. Big History is an interdisciplinary course, part humanities, part science, part social studies, and if that's like your your gig, you can take Big History history as a sophomore. I've heard really good things about it. Check it out for sure. The other option we have for you is Civil War. This is one of my favorite classes. Uh, the Civil War is basically an overview of all four five years worth of the American uh, Civil War. We talk about everything from causes to the battles and tactics all the way to the consequences and uh, how it relates to today. Now we also have sociology, which is one of Mr. Lang's strong suits. I mean, if you end up with social with Lang, you are learning good stuff. I always love to like, you know, learn how, uh, you know, all the other people interact with us, with each other in sociology. And we have a new course that I'm starting, international relations. And we'll see how conflict has affected uh, other countries around the world and how we interact with each other and how our actions impact others. And we have another new class available uh, this coming year, and that is uh, if you are interested in learning about African American history, we are offering an African American studies class which covers basically um, the history of African Americans inside of the United States, everything from um, triumphs to struggles and uh, you know current events. So definitely check out those 10th grade electives. Now, moving on to the 11th grade, we have some other options for you 11th graders, right? The requirements are what, Ms. Lopez? Well, kind of in the same idea as 10th grade, you have regular world uh, history, um, and then you also have the option to take AP world history. All right, um, I think we all know what world history is, right? We're learning a little bit about everything. Starts a little bit later than it used to, like starts now uh, with the Greeks and Romans and moves on until like the present day. It used to go all the way back to the Sumerians, but we've made some changes. Um, in terms of options for 11th grade, what do we have behind us here? Holy cow. Well, you know what, instead of going to um, options, let's stick with the AP options because AP kind of uh, gets a little bit bigger um, for both juniors. And we're just gonna throw the seniors in there too because the electives, social studies electives for AP are the same. So we have, first up, we have AP government. And AP government with Ms. Monteith is definitely um, something you wanna check out. You also can take AP Psychology with either Mr. K or Miss Casey. It all depends on which year uh, they're uh, alternating teaching that, but both of them are such good teachers. You don't want to miss out on that. The other one that we have available for both uh, juniors and seniors is AP, um, is it, oh, economics. It's, is it microeconomics or macroeconomics? I think it's a combination of them both. Okay, fabulous. So if you're interested in, in uh, studying the economy and the ins and outs, the bigger, smaller picture, uh, we're also open to uh, that for next year. If you like to get rich, study AP <laughs> Econ. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go on to some uh, like some regular non-AP options for the 11th graders, yes. right? And uh, not only for the 11th graders, but also for the 12th graders. Here's what we have. You can take regular psychology, again, with Miss Casey or Mr. Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk? Kowalczyk? Do we even know? Well, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. One's one, one's the other. I think you know the conundrum we have here at Wild Lake Northern people. <laughs> uh, but you can take regular psychology or you can take sociology with Mr. Lang again. Again, he's such a good teacher at that. You need to like jump into his classrooms. Okay, we also have um, several uh, other electives for you. The one that um, I teach is called Practical Law. And Practical Law is a course that you might be interested in if you're going into anything regarding, obviously, law. Um, but something uh, some people don't know is that it covers both criminal law, civil law, business law, constitutional law, family law, all sorts of things. It's more along the lines of a survey course, so if that's something you're interested, check it out. Um, a couple of the other classes that I teach, uh, we have America at War, so if you are a military historian, or at least at one point in your future you would like to be, definitely check out America at War. Uh, we cover all of the 20th century wars from World War I um, up until current events. So uh, it's a, a lot of tactics, a lot of people, dates, weapons, all sorts of things. 
Um, the other military history class that we teach is, uh, again, or I teach, is Civil War. Civil War is, uh, again, an overview of the American Civil War um, from, we, well, we kind of look at it from uh, the causes, of course, in the 1850s, and then it goes up through Reconstruction. So, again, one of the most pivotal events in American history. Mrs. Lopez, do we get to watch the like the miniseries North and South? Because I remember that when I was growing up, Ori Maine and, and George Hazard. I love North and South. Do you get to watch that? Actually, unfortunately, we do not. Oh, <laughs> killing me, small. You know what? I'll, I'll put that in. Um, I'll put that in a request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you just put that in. The, yep, exactly. Um, three more classes that you can take as a junior and senior as an elective here at Wild Lake Northern. All three of them we've gone over uh, for the tenth graders. Same classes. You can take Big History, which is again a multidisciplinary approach to history with humanities and uh, science built in, and international relations, which I'll be teaching for the first time. Again, how countries interact with each other and how our actions have an impact on uh, other countries with a lot of current events, a heavy focus on that. And then finally, African American Studies. Yes, and African American Studies, again, just like is, a, is open for uh, 10th graders as well, is just a, um, <clears throat> a culminating uh, class over uh, African American history, culture, um, experiences, and um, future endeavors. All right. So those are the options you have as 10th, 11th, and 12th graders here at Wild Lake Northern. Thanks for listening. Please sign up for as many social studies classes as you think fit because, hey, they're great teachers. They're great classes and we're great teachers. Aren't we great teachers? 100%. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Wild Lake Northern. See you soon. Have a great day.